hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be sharing with you how to make coconut oil just from the comfort of your home if today is the first time you're coming across my youtube channel sit back and enjoy every bit of what i've got to share with you okay to make this coconut oil you do not need any machine whatsoever it's just you doing your coconut oil just manually so now i'm done purchasing my coconuts I must tell you, the first step towards achieving your results when it comes to making coconut oil is getting matured coconuts. You should make sure that the coconut you are getting is well matured to produce oil. If they are not mature, they are not going to give you that desired results and you wouldn't want to have a wasted effort. So right now I'm done purchasing my coconut and this lady, she's helping me take it to where I'm going to board transport going to my house. Now we are going to be removing the flesh or rather we're going to be cracking the nuts. That's the first step towards making it. When we are done removing the, the or breaking it rather, we are going to be taking off the water. Everything that has to do with coconut is so beneficial to mankind. Starting from the water, the coconut water, the flesh, the, the shell, everything is just so useful to man. And this is me taking some fresh coconut water. To do this, you don't need to be so serious. You just have to loosen up a little and just find the way to maneuver the stress. Okay? So at this point, we are almost done cracking our coconuts. And we are going to be removing them from the shell and slicing them in bits. So that the machine will be able to grind them very smoothly. Now we are done grinding and we've used our cheesecloth to sieve it and this is the coconut milk. We are going to be setting it aside for just one night so that the fermentation will take place. If you are still watching to this point, thank you so much and do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post new videos. So right now fermentation has taken place. You can see that guys, this is no longer coconut milk. It is now the cord, coconut cord. And I'll be going to scooping it into my port using this little um, sieve to make sure I capture everything. And this is what we have, guys. It's quite um, large. It's quite much. So at this point, it's beginning to spill over the port. And I wouldn't want to double into another kind of stress after making this oil by cleaning the, the, the surface of my bone. No. So I just had to get a bowl and start scooping it so that they don't spill over. One hour later, you can watch closely and see that our coconut has started to release its oil. Can you see that, guys? All thanks to our non-stick pot. Make sure to use a non-stick pot if you don't want your coconuts to start burning. And once they start burning, you wouldn't get that much oil again. And if you don't have a non-stick pot, feel free to use any pot of your choice, but cook on a very low heat. Now I'm using a sieve to scoop out the oil that has come out already. I'll be continuing this process until I'm done scooping the first batch. This is the oil guys. You can see how beautiful this looks just from the comfort of my home. And I'm going to be transferring back the cord into the pot to continue its cooking. And this is the second pot and I'm doing the same thing I've done with the first one by scooping the oil. I'm going to continue this until we are done, pretty much done. And I'll be transferring the cord back into the pot to continue its cooking. 45 minutes later, guys, if you watch closely, you will see that our cords are very dry. The drier it is, the much oil you get. Okay? That is the number three secret. The drier it is, the much oil you will get. There are various methods of making coconut oil. This is just me showing you my own method. Okay? Yes. And I'll be scooping out the oil. This is the third time i'm scooping out oil yes guys and if you're wondering how much coconut i used to achieve this i used 50 large coconuts matured coconuts that gave me this much oil 50 large matured coconut oil okay sorry coconuts and i'll be saving it for the last time and then i went back to the port and i still found some oil Please do not discard these dry cords. Do not dis dis discard them, please, I beg you. Use them to exfoliate your skin. They are very good on the skin. Use it to exfoliate your skin at least once a week, okay? And this is the last and final scooping, guys. We are pretty much done at this point. 
and I'll be sieving just for the last time to make sure we get the purest of our coconut oil. Guys, look at how beautiful and seamless this oil looks. If you are to get this at the market, I'm not sure you'll be getting a 100% original coconut. I'm not sure. And even if you're going to get it, it's going to be pretty much expensive. Look at those cords, guys. Do not discard them for any reason. Use it to exfoliate your skin, okay? Yes, use it to exfoliate your skin. Please, guys, do not forget to hit the subscription ball, be bell to get notified whenever I post new videos, okay? Kindly help me subscribe. Subscribe to get new notifications whenever I post videos. And if you've done so already, thank you so much and God bless you. And to all my returning viewers, I love you guys so much. I appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much. Guys, this is the amount of coconuts we got from using 50 coconuts to make this oil. You can see our efforts wasn't wasted after all. See you guys in my next one. Bye.